A man tied a thin string to a medicine bottle. The other end of the string was tied to his tooth. Then, he swallowed the medicine bottle, hiding it in his esophagus. Afterward, he opened a lighter and took out the flint, hiding it in the crevice of his fingernail. Next, he tied a shoelace around his wrist. He pressed his thumb against the tabletop and exerted force with his hands and feet, dislocating his thumb instantly. The man was making these preparations to escape because the next day, the FBI was going to send him to the hospital for surgery. It was his perfect opportunity to escape. Before entering the hospital, the FBI had a police dog sniff the man to check if he was carrying any contraband. To avoid detection of the hidden items on his body, the man scared off the police dog directly. He successfully entered the hospital. The man was bound to the operating table by the FBI. At that moment, the doctor injected anesthesia into his body. The man pulled the medicine bottle hidden in his esophagus into his mouth and used his teeth to break the glass bottle. Swallowing the liquid medicine, the mixture of this medicine neutralized the anesthesia in his body. Keeping him awake, the man pretended to fall into a deep sleep. After the doctor relaxed his vigilance, he slowly adjusted his dislocated thumb. This way, his hand could free itself from the restraints. Seizing the moment when the doctor wasn't paying attention, the man kicked him away. He quickly pulled out an acetylene hose and used the flint hidden in his nail to spark a flame, igniting it and spraying a large fire toward the FBI agents rushing in. The operating room instantly descended into chaos. The man took the opportunity to escape through the door, picking up an iron next to him and drilling into the transmission pipeline. Using the iron as support, he slid through the pipeline and arrived in the laundry room. By that time, the hospital had been locked down. The man put on a doctor's uniform in the laundry room, disguising himself as a physician to facilitate a successful escape. He decided to find a way to remove the shackles from his feet. Thus, he used a trolley as cover and headed to the radiology department. Holding a knife, the man threatened a doctor and used a welding gun to cut open the shackles. Then, carrying an acetylene canister, he ran to the control room and sprayed acetylene in every corner. At this moment, the FBI discovered the man and ordered him to raise his hands and walk out slowly. Unexpectedly, the man quickly dropped the ignition source, instantly igniting the acetylene. The hospital's control room was destroyed, causing a power outage throughout the entire hospital. The surveillance temporarily lost signal. Taking advantage of the situation, the man covered the spikes with a canvas and successfully climbed over the anti-theft net. He used his feast to break the glass and entered another building, successfully evading the FBI's blockade. He then used an axe to smash a large hole in the wall. The man swiftly crawled through the opening into the sewer pipe, opening another manhole cover. He emerged from below. The man successfully escaped.